Cha. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Momo. We are back again for another episode review of Catfish Shaw. This is season eight, episode 59. Um, Pamela and Fernando. Okay. This episode. Hold on. Save it. <laughs> Save it. Snatch the air. Save it. Before we get into this review, Y'all already know how my church announcements go. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Make sure your notification bells are turned on so you don't miss all this hot fire and my bomb ass nails I be bringing y'all. Okay, y'all, let's get into this episode because I do not want to make this review long at all. As executive couch producer of MTV, I feel that it is my duty to keep it all the way real 100, a buck 50 with y'all. This episode was boring. And not only was it boring, I was left with a whole lot of questions. I know the way it ended was, ooh, but I was watching my little brother uh, review literally right before I started re uh, recording mine. Shout out to Mizzle14. If y'all are not subscribed to Mizzle14, M-I-Z-Z-L-E-1-4. Follow him. That's my little YouTube brother. I was watching his review and... A lot of times I don't like to watch, especially his review, before I do my own just because I don't want to get no ideas or nothing from him. But the one thing that I love about Mizzle is we always on the same page when it comes to these catfishes a lot. I don't believe it in the end. I don't. I don't believe it to be real. Okay? I ain't doubt nobody love or nothing like that. I'm just saying I don't believe it. But look here, um, hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get up into this to this BS, y'all. All right, y'all, so we have Pamela. Now, the person who wrote in was Kylie. I think it was Kylie or Kaylee, whatever. She's the cousin of Pamela. She wrote in on behalf of her kinfolk because she already know her kinfolk is in some doggone BS. Kinfolk Pamela, she's in Utah. She's originally from Venezuela, okay? That's where she has been talking to this guy named Fernando, okay? He is in Venezuela, okay? Check this. I'm just going to go ahead and break down the BS, the, the, the menu of the BS to you right now. They have been talking for six years. For six years, she has never FaceTimed him. She has only talked to him on the phone three times. Um, He has given her five different pictures of men he could be. Lied to her five different times. One, two, three, four, fifth. Five times about who he could be. Sent her five different Negroes pictures. She has sent him a total of $4,000 in six years. 4,000 pesos. I don't know if that admitted the pesos, but 4K, four stacks, four racks. 2,500 of that being for his knee surgery. And the heifer ain't even got no picture of this nigga in the hospital. She ain't even got so much as a picture of the knee that got the surgery. The rest of the money is, you know, if, if he want to go to the beach or, you know, he want to get him some shoes, got to get his little haircut, you know, go buy some Popeyes or something with some Popeyes or whatever. But she has sent this nigga $4,000. But this is the kicker, though, okay? When she first started talking to Fernando... He was like, I got this homegirl. She my bestie, boo. I want you to meet her. Her name is Daniela. She actually FaceTime with Daniela, has seen her. She's a for real, true, legit person, right? And she thought it was kind of awkward. Like, what, she want me to meet this bitch for? Now? I'm trying to get to know you. But check this shit out. So, she says that one night she fell asleep on the phone with Fernando. They were supposed to be going to sleep on the phone together. I think this is maybe one of the three times that they talked on the phone. They fell asleep on the phone. She woke up. Well, she woke up to hear Daniela's grandmother saying to her, Daniela, wake up. Daniela, wake up. This is six o'clock in the morning, Venezuela time, right? So she said later on that day, she sent him a message. It was like, why the fuck? I fall asleep on the phone with you 
And I wake up on the phone with Daniela, like, make that make sense. That math ain't math. He claims that when he fell asleep, Daniela just came and got the phone and held the phone for him. I said, girl, we shouldn't even be here. This is a waste of everybody's time. What in the hell is we even doggone doing here? I'm not understanding. Over the course of the six years, he has lied to her over 20 times about wanting to come there and spend some time with her for her birthday, Easter, Halloween, President's Day, Christmas, Juneteenth, all of that. National, in a one, in National Women's Day, he lied about everything, about coming there and all of that. Ain't never been there. So much so, her family thinks that she has stopped talking to him. Two years ago, she moved out on her own because her family didn't want her fucking with him because they already knew that he was using her ass up. She went and voluntarily left to be homeless to sleep in her car for a month. Over oh, dude, you don't even know what he look like for real, shawty. Girl. Now, Pamela got it going on. She got her own business. She do lashes and nails and eyebrows and waxes and you probably scale sell skinny tea and all of that shit. That's how she got this extra money. Plus the fact she living with her parents, she got this extra money to just be sending to him. That's why her mom and daddy then was like, uh, -uh you got to cut the bullshit off because we don't want you messing with him. So can we ask her, okay, what is your hard stop? What if his name ain't Fernando? She said, that's okay. What if he ain't the dudes in the picture? That's okay. What if he got kids? That's okay. <laughs> what if he got a peg leg with a kickstand? That's okay. <laughs> like, she was okay with everything. Cammie was like, okay, well, bitch, what is your heart? No. She said if it's a female, which she said she ain't down with the rainbow. She ain't got nothing against y'all. Don't cover her because she ain't sent for you. That just ain't her cup of tea, which I get that. You know what I'm saying? Especially you thought you was in love with this dude and it come out to be a whole female. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that would fuck anybody up if that's what she was going for, you know? So it's time to investigate. They search the photos and they get a hit of the latest guy that he claims that he is. But child, they end up going to his IG and can quickly rule him out because he is all about the rainbows, baby. He is living good as hell. Ain't worried about no goddamn body doing his own damn thing. They search the phone number and it really don't come up with nothing. It was just kind of dead end with that child. They search the IG for Fernando and of course they don't goddamn find nothing. They search Daniela's IG and they see that she tagged Fernando in a recent story that she put up. But the way that it was on there, it was like she was trying to make Fernando seemed like he's real and he's an active person. There was no picture, of course, but it was tagged saying like, I love it here with my family in Miami or I'm here in my, just, I mean, it was just real fake. Nothing about the shit was for real. So they end up going back to Daniela, give her the tea. Of course, she's upset. Ain't nothing else they can do about it from here on now, but they decide to call Fernando, right? Fernando gives them an address in Utah where Pamela is to meet uh, to meet him at this park. And she like, now wait a goddamn minute. He supposed to be in Venezuela. Was he actually here in Utah the whole damn time? Try to check this shit out. Now, first, when he said he wanted to meet her, he wanted to do it without the cameras. Neva Cameron was there like, oh, no, <laughs> slow down, player. That ain't what the hell we, that's not what we not finna do that. We finna be here. We finna be all up in your goddamn Kool-Aid finna get all the flavor, okay? They end up going to the park where he wanted to meet. Child, this little timid-ass white girl come get out the car looking like a scared baby giraffe. Holding this big ass bouquet of flowers. She take it over there to Pamela and they like, nigga, is you Fernando? She said, um, I'm Amy. <laughs> I'm just the favorite driver. I have nothing to do with this. Oh, why are all these fucking cameras out here? I mean, she just said it like that. That's damn sure what she was thinking. They had Becky shook to the motherfucker. She was like, nigga, is this cheetahs? She didn't know what the hell was going on. Girl, it's a letter in the flowers, a letter from Fernando, bitch. It say, I love you, mi amor. I'm just so sorry. I can't see you. Not today. She crying. She upset. She done. She like, fuck this nigga. Kiss his ass. I ain't finna spit on fire to put his ass out. He kissed my ass. Later on, they end up texting Fernando. 
And she tells him, look here, we finna have to FaceTime because you sitting up here bullshitting. I don't like you playing me like this. You all the way in Venezuela. Or are you even in Venezuela? Nigga, you up street, you across the street. Where is you at? He says that he is in Venezuela and he does agree to FaceTime her, right? So when he finally does get on there to FaceTime her, the dude comes on there and it's a totally different dude. Now, I think I have a picture of him. I think I have it in my, um, if so, I'll put it in here. If not, child, I'll get it when I get it. But it's a totally different dude. This dude wasn't too bad looking. So I don't understand why he didn't say who the hell he was at first because she was telling him that. Come clean about who you are. I don't care what you look like. Nigga, I love you. He wasn't a bad looking dude, but he claims that he has his, his insecurities on how he looks and Daniela was his friend because she asked like, no, who the hell is this Daniela bitch? He says that that's his friend. She helps him with a lot, basically with his insecurities and bleh, bleh, bleh. Blah, blah. I ain't believe none of the shit he was saying. He was apologizing me and more, me and more of this. I mean, and she steady asking him questions like, well, why did you do this? Or why did you... And the way she was asking him questions, I was like... Why is we here? Why is we here? Now, he tells her that he loves her. He only wants to be with her. They each other soulmate. He working on getting his papers so he can come to the U.S. and he can meet her and he can be in her arms. Soon, or oh, she can be in his arms. Soon as he said that, it's like splash. <laughs> All that grief and that doubt went out the motherfucking window. They in love. They gonna make it work. Whoop de whoop, yada, yada, yada. Two month checkup. He's supposed to be going and getting his papers, going to the embassy and whatnot the next day to get his papers. And he's planning on moving out there, uh, going out to the U.S., to Utah, Amish land to, uh, yeah, be with Pamela. Y'all want to know what I think? I think it was some bullshit. If they are together, he using her. Because he even said, I don't want to lose you. That's his sugar mama. That's his sugar mama. And Pamela, niece. I'm an equal opportunist around here. Now look here. Girl, you got it going on. You do lashes, nails, brows, waxing, sell dope, and babysit out the same damn house. Girl, you got it going on. You making your own money, all the women independent doing your damn thing. And you are beautiful. The fact that you let this man use you for 4K out your pocket, 4K that we know of. Ain't no telling how much more since this done aired. But get out. If it's for real, which I don't believe it's for real, either he using you or this was made up all together. I don't know. The math ain't mathing with this. And still, the explanation for Daniela, even if she grabbed the phone, was she laying next to you in the bed holding the phone? Or what she was holding the phone for? Was she holding it to your ear? And she just so happened to fall asleep in the bed next to you? Explain that to me. I just got questions. I don't know if they together in real life. I want to know if he doesn't actually went to the U.S. Because I'm sure she going to pay your ticket. Girl, I'm, let me stop. Pamela, you beautiful girl. Don't let Fernando use you, drain you for all your little coin dealers. And Fernando, I don't believe you. I just don't. Look, if it was anything that I missed in this episode, y'all already know what to do. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And y'all, I see more. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.